All right, guys, hey, it is hot. AC is off. It's like 80 something, nearing 90. It'll dip next week. That'll be great. But for now, I'm very hot. Anyway, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, haul. Should we just forget monthly favorites? I know, okay, I was doing so good last year. And then when I had surgery, everything just kind of went downhill from there. And I couldn't get a whatever. Anyway, monthly video, it, you should just expect the TJ Maxx Marshalls one now because this is, this is where all my joy is. This is where all my joy resides. Uh, so we have home things, food things, obviously makeup things. Okay, so uh, this has all been picked up in the past two or three weeks, maybe more. We'll see. But, you know, it's been many locations, many, you know, trips. Box. So cute. So nice. Can probably use it as a gift box, but also... Okay, do you guys have this? <laughs> it's kind of random. Uh, if you were in an immigrant family or... I don't know if you were a non-immigrant family if this really exists unless you're just really uh like frugal about stuff but like we reuse bags we reuse containers takeout containers everything's reused because it's such a waste to not have it right it has it's interesting it says it has nothing to do with recycling right it's just like we must use this again it's so useful it's such a waste if we don't keep this and use it and clean it and reuse it you know so <laughs> Every so often, we'll have a new box, like, okay, for Mother's Day or for Christmas, or like, I will give my mom a box. She will then reuse that box and give me something for my birthday. And then Mother's Day comes around, and I use that box and I give it back to her. And then Christmas comes along and she uses this. So we do, so I'm like, could this be the box? It's like really big and it's pretty. So <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's this weird thing that we do. I am going through a whole like bamboo, natural wood, light wood, light acacia kind of phase in the house. I would say before we were probably like boho glam, but now I almost kind of want to go in like a zen glam. Things are, I mean, I don't know. Bed is like glam. Living room is like boho glam. And then the other room is more like, I don't know, huge bamboo lid container. How much is this like 10 bucks ten dollars i got two i haven't decided what i'm putting in this yet uh, there's gonna be a lot of that i haven't decided what i'm doing with it yet but i just like love it it's like things that i've wanted so i'm thinking of putting like snacks in here because when you have people over like yeah you want to put out the lazy lazy way is like oh you just put everything like in their bags in a chip clip or whatever and then the, you know or you have bowls and you pour things into bowls and then you either throw the food out because you're like eh, it's been out or you you know you clean up your bowls you put stuff back into bags but i generally i want to say in the past couple years i just transfer my snacks into containers so this would just allow me to put like a huge monster size full bag if more and then, you know, people come over, you unscrew the lid, you're done, put it away, there's like no cleanup, and they're kind of cute still, yeah. Okay, next I found this acrylic, I believe it's a computer stand, like a monitor stand, but I think it'd be really cool to put your makeup mirror on this, and then you'll have like built-in, like little, there's two drawers, and it's pretty deep. Uh, it says, oh, first of all, made in Taiwan. Acrylic items made in Taiwan, supreme, get them. Even when you're like actually, such a tangent, when you buy like a furniture that you have to assemble, made in Taiwan products typically, quality is so good, instructions decent, like, you know, love. It's just what I've noticed. So I'm like, I kind of like this. And even under here, you can add like a huge tray or like two trays and you'll almost have like four drawers plus your makeup mirror. I just think this would be like a really good setup. I haven't set it up yet, obviously, but these are ideas. If you see these containers, it's by Hip With Purpose Lunch Pod. I already have one open in my car. I looked these up online. I think it was, they were on like Shark Tank or something, like that kind of a show at some point. And they're just like $5 at TG Maxx Marshalls now. And it is so, first of all, the design is so sleek and simplistic. You have, ooh.
I lost the little little plastic ring. Okay, container like this, I think you can microwave it so it's two layers and then you have another layer on top and it's just so clean looking. So in my car I keep like cough drops and like hard candy in one, one section and the other section has gum. Uh, that way it's just kind of like cleaned up looking, it's kind of mysterious. Um, but let me see. Easy to carry, modular, freezer safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, BPA free. I mean, if you see these. I don't know if, I saw their colors on the internet, but all the TG Maxx Marshalls I've been to only have this color. By me. If you haven't gotten one of these yet, get them. They're the microwave mats. You put them in your microwave, right? That way, when you go to get something hot, you can just grab this and then remove from the microwave. It's also great as like a trivet. Is that how you pronounce that word? Trivet? I've used it to grab hot pots. I've used it to grab like open jars. These are much bigger, you can see. Like I have one that's maybe like this big in my microwave. Like it's big enough for me to like grasp and lift like a bowl or something, but this is huge and perfect. Okay, another home thing. I have been trying to figure out how to display candles. I don't want candles to be like in a cupboard or covered up, even though it does look make the overall space look cleaner. I just, if you don't see the candles, you're not gonna know to burn them, or you're not gonna know to like retrieve one to change the mood of a room, you know? So I saw these really beautiful, I guess these are like trays. So I got a larger one. I got three of the larger ones and three of the slightly smaller ones. And my thinking was to take a turn a turntable, a Lazy Susan like this, and put it inside, and then just place the candles down. Like you, obviously this is what you see, right? And then the candles will just be here. And if I have a candle here, I can show you. Okay, so let's pretend there's a candle here. <laughs> so you just have like, a whole bunch of candles in here and they rotate and it looks really clean and sleek. I'm gonna have, you know, three of the larger ones like on one tier and three of the smaller ones on like a top tier on like a kind of a shelf thing. I think it'd look really good. It'd be like a decor piece but also functional. So to kind of continue on with vanity ideas, guys, how many of you are like this? I probably change my vanity twice a year. Just completely revamp because I find that I want a different setup or something else is easier or something. These are $24.99. Huge, huge, <laughs> like partitioned Lazy Susan type situation. The center is stable and circular, but all of these remove. So if you wanted a larger compartment, not that you would, this is huge. Like, yeah, so I got a couple of these. I haven't decided how I'm gonna use it on the vanity. The recommendation here, it looks like, oh, you can put your socks and your scarves in here, which would also work, but I don't have anything necessarily deep enough where this could like sit in. Uh, but really excited for this purchase. Okay, so on to like health, beauty, travel things. I have this bag bungee. I feel like I might have bought something like this before, but I don't know where it is. Anyway, uh, I looked them up on Amazon. They're kind of more expensive there, but this was $6.99 at TJ Maxx. And you just can connect any items that you don't want to hold onto your carry-on. Uh, obviously, 
one with wheels is more convenient. You could probably use the same thing to attach, you know, I don't know, whatever. For kind of shorter flights, not that big of a deal, but when you have a lot of layovers, changeovers, etc., just having to not keep track of all of your items is so much easier. So I'm really excited to use this. Also, I think it'd be easy like when you are traveling with your makeup, skincare, etc., and you don't have a very convenient carry-on to like open up. Most of them aren't convenient, right? So I feel like being able to kind of remove those items before I get to the airport and bungee them to the top of my carry-on so when I'm going through TSA, I can just leave my carry-on as it is and just like unbungee <laughs> those items that need to be displayed out. You know, I mean, I just feel like so much easier. We have some silicone bottles. I wish they were both this one, but they only had one of these and they had like this color, which I guess actually makes more sense because then I can just remember the color of things. I'm not really big on labeling my bottles. Uh, I probably should. <laughs> As I get older, I'll probably be like, wait, that feels like shampoo on my face. Oh, it's because it is shampoo on your face. Okay, so yeah, silicone bottles. Knee pillow. Uh, I have one in my bed. I kind of want one on my couch. When you get older, you're all about like, what is the most comfortable? What will make me feel good? What will make laying down even easier? Uh, so if you have like hip issues, lower back issues, um, maybe you have circulation type issues, I would recommend trying something like this. Uh, I have bad lower back, the whole right side of my back and like, it's just, you know, it's not a good spot. Uh, this relieves the tension in your back so much when you sleep. Even though I am a back sleeper, every so you know, in the morning when I'm kind of tossing and turning and before falling asleep, you know, I'm kind of rearranging my body and you know, we end up on our side. This makes it so much more comfortable. Uh, I've just kind of learned to just, sometimes I'll just sleep with this in between my legs even when I'm sleeping on my back. And then obviously when I turn, it kind of naturally just kind of supports everything. Love it. So my recommendations are, I see a lot of white ones and they're like, oh, it's a washable case, but it's white and they start to pill. Um, I always tend to go for ones that are not white and that have a cover that you can remove to wash. Uh, it's just easier. It looks, it looks and feels less orthopedic <laughs> when you do that. The one I currently have on my bed, I got off of Amazon. It is so nice. First of all, I mean, obviously it's gray cover. It has a latch, so you can actually have it like this on your bed too. So if you are someone that needs to elevate your legs a little bit, just like a little bit, you know, instead of putting a pillow underneath it and having it move, um, this is really great. And then again, the little latch, it's by Creative Factory. I got this one off of Amazon. It was like $8, seven, seven seven or eight dollars at the time. Sent one to my sister, sent one to my friend, like, <laughs> we need this. <laughs> and they both texted me and told me, like the second they used it, my, I think my sister, was it my sister? She was like, it like completely opened up my back. And I'm like, I know, if you ever use this for the first time, you know that feeling. You're like, I did not know that it could actually be this comfortable <laughs> to lie on my side, yes. Okay, I got this garbage can. Again, we're kind of going with that like light wood theme. Love it, so cute. And in here we have beauty items. I showed these to you in a recent or previous video. These Spa Life Hydro Colloid Pimple Patches. They're so good. If you see them, get them. I got two of them. You get 72, they're $3.99. And I mentioned the reason why I was so interested is because there's different shapes. So the idea is, or at least what I figured out, I don't know, I don't know if they've explained this to anyone, but so if you're applying a patch to a rounder part of your face, you should use a non-round shape because it'll stay better. And if you're applying it to a more like, you know, if, it, if, it's, if it's more of like a straight area or small narrow space, sometimes a round one. So almost go with the opposite shape of the area that you're trying to hydrocolloid 
not on top of that they're just really good they have like really good sucking action right oh my god should i show you something really gross Okay, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. So last night I used one of these peace out pores. The ones that are an actual, like they look like a nose strip. And should I go close so you can see how much gunk came out last night? Do you see that? Any of that where you see like solid white, that's just all the gunk that was like pulled out from like my nose area. Oh, so good. I mean, these are kind of pricey. You don't have to get these. Next Care does these. Uh, I think I got these from like Yes Style though, maybe. Or maybe Amazon. Works like a sponge. So this one comes with 36 pieces. There's different sizes. Uh, So, I mean, like, the beauty space has decided that, you know, beauty nose strips are bad for you. I still have some. I probably won't repurchase any, but they are really good in a quick fix. Like, if you have a lot of congestion happening, I think that is a really good way to give you a good head start to a better skincare routine to help your either blackheads or your, oh, what do they call them? Clogged, not clogged pores. There's a word. We'll put it here when I figure it out. Oh God, last time, what was the video? I couldn't think of the word splinter. Oh, thank you, forever help me there. Okay, so yeah, I don't, where are we at? Oh, spa, quadricoloid patches. Okay, so we have some K-Beauty. I talked about uh, this in my last video, the last, maybe a vlog or two ago. So much K-Beauty at TJ Maxx Marshalls. So I have the Farmstay Collagen and Hyaluronic Acid All-in-One Ampule. This was on sale for $6. And all of these were like unopened. I love when you find unopened items. Another Farmstay is the Collagen Water Full Moist Serum. I got these when it was still kind of colder out, so I'll probably just save them for later. They don't expire till 2024. This was $6 as well. So you guys ever go into a store and immediately your internet doesn't, doesn't work anymore? Like anything you want to research or look up, guess what? You can't. So <sighs> there's a struggle there uh, until I figured it out and had to like just, you know, browse some reviews online. This, I don't know how to pronounce. I think it's Su I Su A. It's the purifying charcoal cleansing water. Uh, you guys know nothing will ever, ever beat, surpass my Kagendo cleansing spa water, but the charcoal cleansing water, and this has really good reviews, I was like, this could be good for winter, no, summer. This could be good for summer uh, because of the charcoal element, you know, it will absorb more oil. Also guys, I don't know, I always for the longest time thought that I was like normal to dry skin, but I do have to like blot my T-zone daily and it, and even like not my t-zone so i'm like do i have combo skin do i have oily skin okay i definitely don't think i have oily oily skin i i, I might lean i don't know guys i have to figure out actually i need to talk to my friend she's an esthetician i'm like these are my symptoms um this already in my shower on sale for 450 it's the forest story food recipe milk mayo treatment guys i am so obsessed with like these things i see them now the mise-en-scene moroccan oil treatment this one for damaged hair um, there's like this idea of like mayo and egg, which a lot of DIY hair masks have. This one smells amazing. It does the same thing as the other one as far as like the scent staying in your hair for multiple days. I'm just like, mm. I mean, at the end of the day, it makes sense. I have Asian hair. <laughs> Asian hair products will work better for me. 
This is the Dr. Jarrett Sikapair kind of rescue kit. I got a sample of the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Cream. I don't want to say it's life changing, but it was so awesome. <laughs> I applied it. It was like such a mini sample. So these I think typically run for $40, $42. Uh, but at TJ Maxx, you'll find this kit for $20. And you get a Tiger Grass Color Correcting Cream. You get the color correcting, like lighter version of that cream. You get a serum and you get a mist. The mist is also really nice. I've used this whole range. I have bought two so one of them has been in use on my vanity but this is like a backup i guess because it will come in handy in the summer because the color correcting cream actually has an spf in it it also i've noticed has some mattifying properties so i really like it for that but if you're ever a little sunburn or if you just experience redness in general now i can't speak to people who have like rosacea and stuff like that i i don't know how that skin reacts to anything <laughs> but this it does have a slight mattifying effect and this slight like kind of it just evens your whole face so there was times where my skin may have been a little more sensitive to things and i got a little rosiness here i also think you might get more of that as you age and i put this on and it just looks so i'm like i could just put a little concealer on under my eyes and i really don't need makeup it was so immediate the change so if you've ever thought about trying these color correcting products from Dr. Jarrett I would recommend them oh this is what I picked up okay so I went to go visit my brother and my sister-in-law in April sometime <laughs> I don't remember uh, and of course gotta go TJ Maxx uh, also we had so much fun I I don't know if we want to get into it in this video but or we can it's not not, not a long tangent but have you guys had this whole like kind of change like with the pandemic and like what you care about what you care to spend your time on who you spend your time with what you spend your money on i mean i still love a designer bag as much as the next person i'm not, not saying i'm never going to buy another one but all of those kinds of things like that i would like kind of browse online for just out of boredom or out of interest it, it does not as often and like i just want to travel more I want to spend time with my family uh, so in May which is this month I'm gonna go down to Texas I'm gonna see my sister I'm gonna see my brother there and I don't it's just what I care about now and then I think my siblings will be in or some of them will be in in June and then in July I haven't decided if I want to do Vegas or if I want to do Orlando like I just I just want to spend time with people that <laughs> I care about and spend money to spend time on people that I care about. I, I, it sounds so ridiculous, I know, but even though it was something I did pretty regularly, I just, I focus so much more on it now and I'm like happier about it, obviously. Anyway, went down to visit, uh, was in Virginia and I've been looking for these. I just don't have them here yet, but it's the headband and it has the bunny ears, right? So when you put the headband on like this way, the bunny ears secure your hair in the back so it's not everywhere. Because usually I have to combo, DIY this whole situation. You know, I have this, something like this on and then I have a rubber band, not a rubber band, but like a hair tie that will hold my hair back. So we look really cool, but this, how adorable. I'm excited. So this has like kind of metal, I don't know what the word is malleable little metal wires in here and then you can just you know change the shape and it's so convenient Ooh, oh yes the black girl sunscreen it was on sale for ten dollars uh i keep seeing really good reviews on this i'm excited I'm, I'm always so into trying sunscreens even though my favorites really are like korean and japanese sunscreens even the french ones like i still will try the ones that are popular here even though we obviously have like low level <laughs> SP of sunscreen options here Guys, okay, this is one of the really good purchases uh, The NARS oil infused lip tint in the shade primal instinct. I believe is discontinued. I purchased one. I Don't know where I got it and Then I looked for it after that initial purchase and I saw oh, I might have gotten it in a kit Yeah, there was a trio on sale on Nordstrom rack and then it went away it was like the height of me loving the the lip tints and or lip oils and then i realized this one was discontinued i was like no but i found two of them untouched 
for $7.99 at Marshalls. It is so beautiful. So now I have a couple backups. I go through this, this one pretty quickly. Um, and then I also found one in the shade Laguna, which I'm actually, I don't know, I'm going to make it to one of my friends or my sister because I have this shade and it's, shade, it's a shade I don't reach for as often. I think it looks better on someone who is a little darker, a little more tan than me. And um, luckily I have people who are that <laughs> that I can give it to. So I was like, oh, also clean, untouched, $7.99, like so awesome. Is that everything? I think that's everything. I'm sweating so much. Uh, I probably also sound thirsty, but that is our TJ Maxx Marshalls haul. For Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I will see you in the next video.